This film has been made with advice from experts to help you decide if CT screening for lung cancer is right for you. Let's start by looking at lung cancer itself. Lung cancer is one of the most common cancers worldwide and causes more deaths than any other cancer. This is mainly because lung cancer is found too late. Currently, around 7 out of every 10 people with lung cancers are diagnosed too late to be cured, so finding lung cancer early is very important. When lung cancer is diagnosed early, the options for treatment are much better. Treatments can include surgery, often keyhole, which removes the part of the lung that is affected by cancer. This greatly improves the chance of survival. Research shows screening the right people can save lives. In a large American trial, it was found that one life was saved from lung cancer for every 320 people that had screening. And of those found to have lung cancer, 20% more survived thanks to CT screening. The scan is offered to people based purely on their risk of getting lung cancer. It doesn't matter if they have symptoms or not. Older age, current or previous smoking, and family history all increase your chance of developing lung cancer. Most patients will either have normal scan results or will have something unrelated to lung cancer, such as emphysema. If this is the case, you may be asked to see your GP. An indeterminate result usually means that the scan has detected a small area of shadowing, often called a nodule. A nodule is a bit like a mole on the lung. As with moles, most are harmless, but for around 1 in 10 people, the nodule may grow and this could be a sign of an early lung cancer. For every 100 people screened, around 25 will be found to have a nodule on their lung and be recalled for a further scan. But only two in every 100 people screened will have lung cancer. It is likely most of these will be cured. The other 23 people may have extra scans that they would not have needed if they hadn't been screened. For many people, this is not a problem. But for some people, it may cause unnecessary worry and is a possible harm that you should be aware of. You should weigh this and other possible harms against the benefits to decide what is right for you. Exposure to a lot of radiation can cause cancer and small amounts of X-ray radiation are used in a CT scan. While this is something you should be aware of, the radiation from one scan is very unlikely to cause harm and is equal to the X-ray radiation in the environment in one year in the UK. As with most tests, CT screening is not perfect. In some cases, the scan will give a false negative result, which means that it has failed to pick up an existing cancer. These instances are extremely rare, but important to be aware of. Occasionally, a CT scan will find a lung cancer that would not actually have caused the person harm during their lifetime. These instances are uncommon, but they could lead to a patient having unnecessary treatment. Remember, screening does not prevent cancer. It simply aims to find it earlier, which in turn improves the chances of finding a cure. It is also important to reduce your risk of getting lung cancer. The most important risk factor that people can do something about is smoking. Smoking is extremely addictive and is challenging to give up, particularly for those who've been smoking for many years. But giving up is possible, and research shows that you are four times more likely to be successful if you have the right support and treatments. You can speak to your nurse, your GP or pharmacist about the free help and support that is available. My name's David Killick uh, and I discovered that I had uh, lung cancer, which was a bit of a shock. Uh, a spot was discovered on my left lung and it was cancerous. Well, I think it'd be odd if you weren't a bit worried uh, because it's a, a process that you don't really know about, you don't understand, although a great deal of it was explained to me before it all started, so that was very good. Oh, there certainly wasn't any pain involved, but it was a very simple process. I just went in, lay down in the machine, this donut, uh, and it moves slowly round you, slowly back and forth. Uh, there's a bit of noise from it, but no problem at all, no. 
that was when the decision was made to remove it with keyhole surgery. I think 48 hours, that's all I was in hospital for, and it was fantastically well done. I then, since then, been monitored every six months, and touch wood, everything's fine. It's extremely wonderful that I had the scan, they found it, they took it out. It is incredible what can be done now, and of course it seems to me the most important thing is to find things early, as early as possible. Lung cancer screening has the potential to save lives by improving early diagnosis and the chance of a cure. But you must weigh up the pros and cons and make a decision that is right for you.